Item number SCP-1507 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-1507 are to be housed within Site-77's Wilderness Observation Deck in the event that Foundation staff need to interact with SCP-1507. PRI-1507 is to accompany them into the chamber. Staff must be a minimum of 5 meters away of POI-1507 when in the presence of SCP-1507. Any request POI-1507 has in relation to SCP-1507 are to be revealed by the current research head. POI-1507 is allowed to and encouraged to have daily interactions with SCP-1507. Description SCP-1507 is a collective designation given to 30 plastic lawn flamingos of unknown make or manufacture. Instances of SCP-1507 bear no notable behavioral differences from the average American flamingo, save for an increase in tutorial behavior and lack of vocalization. Said behavior often results in attacks targeted towards Foundation staff. The only individual known to so invent their behaviors is POI-1507, otherwise known as Leroy Day. Hume level testing performed on POI-1507 suggests reality-bending abilities, though all conversations with him have come back as unclear of his awareness of his abilities. Addendum 1507A Following of phone logs recovered from POI 1507's phone following the acquisition of SCP 1507. Due to a lack of compliance and resources, an interview was unable to be taken from POI 1507. March 1st, 2012, 12.42 p.m. Mark, you called? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm still not used to this yet. <laughs> You're fine. I'm still getting used to it myself. It's just weird, is all. Yeah, I don't doubt. <laughs> I don't know how I'd react if I just stopped hearing one day. Well, just in case it happens, let me tell you something. Keep around a pencil and paper or something to type. It's the only way folks will talk to you. <laughs> that sucks. You'll get used to it. I mean, I guess... Still a bit lonely, isn't it? As I said before, you get used to it. Now, uh, what were you calling about? Oh, right. I'm coming over today, and I'm bringing a sort of a get well soon gift. Oh, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for you. 2nd of March, 2012, 3.12 p.m. I think he likes this by my garden. <laughs> Ed overlooks the koi pond, so he probably likes to watch the little guys. I'm glad to hear that, man. I just know you said that you miss those old watching trips the most. So I tried to, well, bring to you in any way I could. Oh, god damn! You caught me crying! <laughs> I really do appreciate this, man. You're the first to come visit me after to getting out of the hospital, so it really does mean a lot, even without the gift. Wait, what about Hendrik? Uh, your old boss? Uh, well, if I'm being honest, it was a roundabout way of letting me go. Dude, that's not okay. Isn't that illegal? I don't know. He could probably fight the case if I'm honest, and I'd rather not lose money on it. Well, it still freaking sucks. God, I'm sorry people have been crappy to you, man. Tell you what, after I'm done with work tonight, I'll make you whatever you want, okay? Sounds good. And I guess if that's the case, salmon isn't off the menu, is it? Not one bit. I'll be over at 9. 3rd of March, 2012. 9.01 a.m. Hey, I saw you have some more flamingos there. I'm assuming that the little guy was a pretty good gift. He's great, honestly. Best pet I've ever had. He doesn't need food, water, or anything like that. Hell, he doesn't even bite. But I figured he was getting a bit lonely with just me. 
<laughs> well, looks like he got plenty of friends now. He does, and he's so happy running around with them. 4th of March, 2012, 12.21pm. Hey, dude, been a while since I've heard about you. Everything okay? Yeah, just what's been piling up recently, and I've been racing to beat the clock. Oh, I don't get to that at all. 6th of March, 2012, 3.12 p.m. Hey, I saw your sister on the news today. She seems really proud of her work. 8th of March, 2012, 6.38 p.m. Ha <laughs> We got a whole pool party back here now. <laughs> they play so well together. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Are you doing okay, dude? Oh, I'm fine. Just, I don't know, getting harder to, well, talk to people you know. <laughs> Leroy, I'm, I'm sorry I missed your past few texts. And you know what? I'll take you out again tonight to that one barbecue place you like. Cowboys, is it? It is, but seriously, dude, I'm fine. Then consider this an apology meal. Anyways, can't complain when I'm paying. I guess that's true. 8th of March, 2012. 8.23pm. I know you're driving for, for when you stop, just text me. Right, sorry again, I keep forgetting. It's fine, what's up dude? Well, you keep your flamingos inside. Yeah, they don't really like the rain. What do you mean? They just don't like it. It gets inside them and bothers them and all that stuff. Dude, I know you've been obsessed with them recently, but you realize they're not real, right? No, they move and play with me. They're plastic. Yeah, but they move around and they play. And no, if you turn the car around, I can show you. Not gonna lie, this is a weird way of saying you want to go home. I don't. I just want you to see the flamingos. Fine, dude, let's eat, and you can take me back. 8th of March, 2012, 9.32pm. See, I told you they play. I don't know why they don't like you after all. You're their uncle. <laughs> uh, I guess they're overprotective of you. I'm sorry, this wasn't meant to happen. You're fine. Discovery on 8th of March, 2012. A series of 911 calls were received in the Clay County area. The calls were noted to have a male crying and uttering various unidentifiable phrases. Due to the nature of the call, it was flagged for scanning and a foundation agent was sent out to the call. When arriving on scene, the agent reported POI 1507 attempting to unsuccessfully resuscitate another man, who was later identified as Mark Foreman, had had multiple stab wounds presumably caused by SCP-1507. POI-1507, after being taken into Foundation custody, was amnesticized following an Ethics Committee order.